How do you start a startup? What's the big idea? The challenges and the road ahead. The intelligence behind the innovations. The lows and the highs. And the competitive advantage. A behind the scenes view of the great Indian startup program. Ushering India into a brand new age of science and technology. One startup at a time. I am a clinical scientist, was working as a uh, scientist in Ames, Delhi. And where I actually completed my PhD in gastroenterology department. So since 15 years I was there. I was treating my father there in 2014 for the gastric lymphoma. So during his radiotherapy, he actually developed the infection. Out of my surprise, uh, whatever treatment test and uh, methods are available like culture, PCR, they give results at least within two to three days. When I lost him actually on 24th of October 2014 and I got his report after his death. So I was like in a shock, ki how come I lose my father just because of infection and the reason like five days ka time tha. So us time I just had in my mind that I will fill my own time gap in research and experience. I wanted to fill a time gap for two days, 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 two days. So since then I was just keep on working on this thought. That was not an idea initially कि कुछ ऐसा करेंगे, but ये thought था मेरे पास। Then I read from Google, YouTube, my Ames library and wherever I want to get the condition, I used to get it. And then दो साल लगे मुझे इस तक पहुँचने में। 16 तक I would have been at what point कि yes, something sort of sensor technology and work on it and, and then I was looking for how to make it reality. I actually went to the one conference in Indian Habitat Center. So there I realized that kuch to hota hai bairek and bikkar ke jisse grant milti hai. So then there was a senior person who was giving the lecture. I just requested him to talk for a minute in the lunch time and I asked sir ki sir I also have an idea and I want to get the grant whom I can talk. Then that time they suggested me that you can talk, uh, you can apply for the BIREC and BIC and applied it and I got it. The grant is almost around 50 lakhs rupees. So in that 50 lakhs which we actually received for one bacterial infection, one resistance, we actually developed the whole panel of those six particular bacteria and their resistance. Those are right now is responsible for almost 3.5 million deaths per year. I joined my journey in of FITT on 11th of February. I started working on my idea ki whatever I started my setting up my lab, all the consumables and everything was new for me. So technology for which I was working on, there was no experience uh, the team member I can immediately hire. Dr. Pooja also came from a tech background. She was having a PhD. And coming to a business, like you need to understand various aspects of business. So we help them prepare a good business plan. We help them connect with various customers, investors and all. So at the time of application, primarily uh, it starts right from there. Uh, to put up a good application, how you will utilize the funding, what is the best way to use the resources that you have. And the other is the facilitation where in terms of mentoring, in terms of business planning, in terms of various other requirements, in terms of helping them understand the regulatory requirements and also we try and guide them with all these things. And once these startups grow to a certain extent, then we also try and provide them linkages with various customers and investors where they can raise further funds and then uh, aspire to grow further. 
so for uh, one year we was we actually worked on this whole technology developed this uh, one sensor in a one go that is e coli so there are i actually interviewed lot many doctors from aims so they actually suggested me ki if you are actually doing something it is out of box and can give you result of infection at least give some key bacteria so then we actually worked on more than 30 32 bacteria with the help of dr vivekanand and perumal he is uh, iit faculty and uh, we finally came up with one particular panel that is right now a big panel that is uti why uti we have taken because people think cancer but cancer is the second most biggest threat of the death first is antimicrobial resistance antimicrobial resistance is an emerging and a major uh, problem in our country the world bank it commissioned a study data that has been published that shows that by 2050 antimicrobial resistant infections will overtake cancer as the single largest cause of death in humans and one more thing which is also make up big role in this like doctors do have a practice of giving prophylactic antibiotic because of no fast methods and this is first device which can give you result of any infection antimicrobial resistance in just 90 minutes ye hamare screen printed electrode hai hum iska micro fabrication karte hain with specific design probes isko rakh dete hain aadha ghante ke liye for that micro fabrication process to be continued usi ke sath sath hamare paas sample receive hota hai biological fluid maybe blood maybe urine or any biological fluid हम उनको लेते हैं और प्रोसेस करते हैं विद स्पेसिफिक रिएजेंस और उनका एक्सट्रैक्शन करते हैं न्यूक्लिक एसिड डीएनए एक्सट्रैक्शन आधे घंटे बाद हम उन दोनों को इंक्यूबेशन पीरियड के बाद वापस से इस स्क्रीन प्रिंटेड इलेक्ट्रोड के ऊपर इम्प्लीकेट करते हैं सो दैट अ थ्री डी डायमेंशनल कॉम्प्लेक्स विल बी मेड on this device and at the last stage 90 minutes we detect the results in our device uh, when the normal culture and blood sample is generally going to the lab so blood temp sample whenever you take the patient for the back take it is almost 16 ml blood is required from the sick patients so here one thing we are also giving we just take one ml blood So there are already some devices which are quite expensive. Nobody can, you know, apply it in a smaller setup like a 20 bedded or a 50 bedded hospital because that costs a lot of money. Like COVID test, when it started, an RT-PCR test, it was five thousand or six thousand rupees. Eventually, government, you know, regulated the prices. Prices came down to almost now six, seven hundred or five hundred rupees. So that is what a patient can afford. That is, you know, cost-effective, pocket-friendly. Because in India, we practice pocket medicine. So the USP is cost-effective early diagnosis and treatment. That is the main USP of this device. the conventional way is a blood culture that is what is widely available the culture positivity rate even in the best centers in the west is 20 to 30% and the blood cultures are the ones where it takes time to pick up these infections second is the state of the art panels like biofire they are again uh, the pick up rate is fast and uh, the problem with biofire is that it is expensive and it is not widely accessible even in the best tertiary care hospitals in the private sector leave alone government sector it is not accessible so ramja jidu sensor is a technology that is relatively straightforward simple point of care test and that is where the innovation part comes in technology is uh, cheaper than the what what and more efficient uh in picking these uh, drug resistant bugs we have done a preliminary study of uh, this technology and uh, the ramja method outperformed the um, conventional backtech uh, uh, blood culture method to pick up these uh, bugs so a common aadmi ke liye infection ka detection ka time jo ki 5 din se 
नब्बे मिनट हो गया है ऊपर से रेट भी जो कि हजार रुपए इवन कल्चर का भी सात सौ के वो भी अगर आप सिर्फ यूटीआई देखने आए हो तो आप दो सौ तीन सौ में भी टेस्ट कर सकते हो एक फुल पैनल कराना है तभी आपको हजार रुपए खर्च करने है इसका डिवाइस का सबसे अच्छी बात यह कि डिवाइस पोर्टेबल है आप हमारा डिवाइस ले जाओ किसी भी प्राइमरी सेंटर पे वहां पर अगर आपके पास कंपाउंडर है तो हम कोई भी सेटअप लगाने से पहले अगर तीन दिन वो हमारे पास ट्रेनिंग कर लेगा तो उसे इतना ट्रेन कर देंगे कि वो जितने भी लोग आएंगे उनका वो रिजल्ट करके दे सकता है there are only two startups which can survive either you have a lot of money or either you have something which is solving the people's problem and i think we are on the second point we are solving a problem which which was a very big thing for the indian healthcare system humne pura device made in india karke hi banaya each and small component of the device is from made in india and the people who are working on different small startups are with us and they go along with us within 2 3 years vision that ramja should be in every small villages of the country too we want to get export most of the countries already we have taken the rights for the usa and uae right now we have and we have patents also there so we can definitely go global to these big countries secondary if i talk about the employment with their manufacturing including their uh, logistic domestic and distribution channels the lots of employment will be generated Uh, not only on one places, different different states in India and outside country too. Third thing, the technology. So our vision is related to the AI based algorithms. So in five years down the line, you will have a whole generation data which a sequencer have. So the thing is that if whatever infection is there, you will have a device. It's fine. Even if you will not have a device, the AI algorithm can detect. In my personal belief. If you really want to get success, just don't give up. If nobody is believing you, you should believe in yourself. दो ही चीजें हैं not giving up and persistency. That can make a person anything whatever they want.